Okay guys, this is Killjoy again. I'm gonna give you a little more advanced um, tutorial on editing skins for Counter-Strike 1.6 weapons. Um, we're not just gonna color a knife pink, but it, it's the same concept. We're, we're just gonna make one a little more advanced. Um, let's talk about Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer real quick. Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer is not a program that is used to change dimensions on a weapon. It just shows you how the weapon, uh, how it looks and like what it can do. But to actually make a weapon, it requires a couple of the programs. Um, Milkshake 3D, down here, that's one of the programs. I'm not familiar with it really. I'm, I just installed it not too long ago and I'm still working with it. So I'm not going to be giving any tutorials on that anytime soon. But making textures for models, that's or skins, that's totally different and it's, and it's pretty simple. Uh, anyone can do it really. So just have five model viewer. Um, we have it opened up. Let's load up a model. Um, I have one, an alt model that has a uh, black texture on it. We're just gonna open that. We'll just re-edit it. Um, you would have to navigate to your models folder and grab the gun. Here it is. Okay. Um, it's just a black alt. We're going to uh, maybe make it white or something, like make a white scope and like a white barrel, like some black lines on it, something like that. Something easy, but still looks really cool in game. Um, okay, first thing we're gonna do, textures tab, just like last time. Come here, pick the texture you want. Let's do the scope. So scope that BMP. Um, export the texture to the desktop. I'll call it scope one. So we know it's the unedited version. Um, save, no, desktop. Save, and it should pop up. All right, good, drop this down. I already have the GIMP open, and I'm gonna edit this photo with GIMP. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Zoom out one more, a little too far. All right, that's just fine. Um, first thing you always do, come to image, mode, RGB. Always do that. Okay, say I want this, uh, scope to be white. I'm gonna change the color to white. And I'm gonna just outline the scope. Now, um, fill it in. Just a little tip on the GIMP, the brackets button makes the paintbrush larger and makes them smaller. Okay. All right, so I know there's like angles right here and right here on the scope, so I'm gonna make them black. And I know there's one here. That's why I made the outline, that way you know where they're at, rather than just color everything white right away. Okay. Um, we can make some thinner ones if you want. Uh, I put like one up on the tip of the gun of the scope. I mean, maybe like one up the middle. Whoops. Control Z undoes your last. <sighs> That's fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the tip of the scope right quick. All right. Now, though this looks really short right here, it's actually very extended looking. If we look at it on Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer, that's this end of the scope, and you can really see it from Weapons Origins. It's it's pretty long right there. This is the bigger end. That's this. This is on this end. So, and we can put a text in there. I use the gun in my um, I hold my gun on the game 
in my right hand so we, we're gonna reverse the text you'll see okay uh, grab the text it's gonna be black just like the last thing and just like these other colors just to make it you know even just put my clan tag in there I could have changed the font if I want to I'm not too worried about it though okay um, since I hold my gun in my right hand I'm gonna flip this text that way if I'm holding it in the right hand that's the way I'll see it but if it, you hold the gun in your left hand in game leave it just as it is but I don't so I'm gonna move it I'm gonna adjust it's where is it? whoops okay and I'm satisfied with this so I'm gonna go ahead and save it as scope 2 whoops hold on you always gotta do this too image mode index do that when you're done convert just, it's, it's the first thing if I were to show you it's not gonna let me do it but it would um, generate optimum palette that's what you were looking for um, now we can save it so file save as scope 2 um, save merge, merge visible layers export save okay there it is um, bring up the bring up the jeds from the Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer, go to Textures tab, uh, Scope, make sure you're on the right thing, Import Texture, Scope 2. And there it is. Look at the model display. That's pretty neat looking. Look at it from Weapons Origins. That's pretty cool looking. Alright, um, see where the angles were? I could have put that, brought that up a little bit, but I'm, it's kind of a little thick there. So, you, you know, you just gotta edit it and adjust it how you like it. Um, that's a pretty neat looking scope. Let's look at it so you could see. Let me move this over about. Bring it back so it's a little far. If you're holding it in your right hand, that's how you would see the lettering. Okay. Bring that back to zero. Alright. Um, now we can do something else. Say we want to do the barrel. Just like last time, export this texture. Barrel one to let us know it's the unedited version. Once again, drop it down. Bring down the. Or, whoops, bring up the jet gun. Um, gimp. Here's the barrel. We're gonna zoom in. Alright, um, mode, RGB, just like last time. Say all we really want to do, I, this is a texture I down from FPS, FPS Banana. Um, say I just want to put some white stripes on it, just so we'll match the, um, scope. Just grab the tool brush, uh, make this the size you want using your brackets. Let's just, that's fine. say that's just how we want to do it this is the front of the barrel this is the back so there's two lines in the front there's gonna be three um, in the back file save as whoops keep forgetting to do this mode indexed generate optimum palette convert okay now we file save as barrel 2 Save it. Okay. Now bring up the Jeds again. 
import texture, scope, whoops, barrel two, model display. Look at that. Weapons origins. See, and you could have, uh, we could have made those um, thicker if we wanted to, or we could have put more on there if we wanted to. Um, so you just got to play around with it and, uh, until you get the skin or model you like. So that's just a little more advanced gun than the pink knife we did. But it was exactly the same way that we done the knife. There's no changes. You ju just the colors we used. So it's that simple. Um, links to download the softwares um, is in my channel. So um, good luck.